Welcome back to Baku. We're on the edge of the Caspian Sea in a bustling, vibrant capital, which for only the third time plays host to Formula 2. This is not your usual racing circuit. It provides one of the most complete tests for the field. Sector 1 sports a set of 90 degree corners around the block, if you like. Sector 2 gets even tighter with the old city walls. Sector 3 just turns 16 to negotiate and then 2.2 kilometers flat to the floor, full throttle in sixth gear all the way to the end. I'm not the only one sitting here today who's looking forward to today's race. My friend and ex-GP2 champion Davide Valsecchi next to me is already on the edge of his seat awaiting the start of the event. How's it going today? Hello there, Alex. I'm great, thank you. And very excited to get started. I have a feeling we are in for a very special event today. Well then, after an exciting session yesterday, let's take a look at how the cars line up. Lando Norris lines up on pole position, and it's Jack Aitken alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Sete Camera, Makina, Nick De Vries, and Russell, Latifi, Albert, Markolov, Luca Giotto, Galeo, Fuoco, Nurei Fukuzumi, and Mary, Delatraz, Gunter, Kari, and Dorian Boccalacci. Lorandi, and Arjun Maney rounds off the grid. And now, it's time to head down to the track.
So as they climb out of the car, the Carlin team are ready and waiting to celebrate a thoroughly deserved win. And Davide Valsecchi, give me your thoughts. How did they accomplish this result? I think this race was won thanks to the tyre management. You have to remember, it's not just about going as fast as you can. It's about consistency. It's about maintaining your speed over an entire race distance. So being able to keep the lap time competitive while still respecting the tires, that's where they won today. As we can see, it's time for the podium. And I can see the Carlin team underneath our commentary box going crazy as their driver walks out. It was a great win and it means a great deal to this team. And so, driver of the day then, Davide Valsecchi, who do you think you'd go for? I have to give it to Lando Norris. One of the best things about Formula 2 is watching these young drivers grow and mature. And it feels like his career took a big step forward today. Goodbye for now then, but we really are just getting started. Make sure you join us again for Lights Out tomorrow. You lost your mind.